Hey, how's it going everyone? Thompson back once again in action. And let's go ahead and grab a bike. As you can see I am back with the Americans. The Germans, as I mentioned earlier, were just a child um or a one war thing that I want to do. Just to make sure that I wasn't getting too attacked to the Americans. But I am back once again in the, with the Americans. Uh, one thing before I begin my true video, uh, my apologies for not putting up a video for several days. Uh, I haven't had the interest to play other games quite yet, other than Heroes and Journals, and I'm getting hit. Great. And, um,. Because of Uwin that just came out, which is what I want to talk about today. Because of that, there was a whole ton of, uh, oh, what do you call it? Maintenance. Maintenance works. So, I couldn't really play all that much. So, my apologies for that, but let's go ahead and get into the action once again. So today, as I mentioned just a minute ago, I want to talk about... Ooh, and, and let me just make sure that my audio is good. Eh, there we go. Couldn't hear anything before. Uh, so Owen, which just came out, and is there a guy over here? Mm, I don't see him. No. What's he looking at then? Huh. I don't know. Okay. Uh, there's a Panzer 1 over there, and about there. So, Uwin, for those who do not know what it is, is a major update that just came out on Tuesday, I believe. And basically what I've got was four major things. Uh, there was the Gervais 43, a semi-automatic 10-shot rifle for the Germans, which I will talk about in just a minute. Uh, the M1903 Springfield, which again I will just, well, it's a five shot bolt action rifle, which I, again I will talk about in just a minute. Uh, update weapon textures and the third currency for assault teams. So, it's with Uwin, uh, some people have liked it, some have hated it. Personally, I hated it at first, but after playing it for uh, about three days now, I am starting to grow on it, actually. Well, whatever the term is. Uh, and I'm starting to really like it. Uh, I think... Well, the major part that people have been complaining about is the assault team, which uh, I will still talk about after the weapons and stuff. Ah, and there is a Panzer 1. Hello, buddy. Come here. I want to kill you. And there's a Gravator 43 that I was talking about. Uh, but the assault teams was the big thing that people have been complaining about. And it's really the thing that has turned people away, but I'll get to that in just a minute. Let's try and start off with the rifles. The Gebeir 43 is an excellent rifle. Uh, I pick it up any time that I can, even though I use Mr. Thompson. Uh, it's just such an excellent rifle. Um, the sights I enjoy better than the Grand. Uh, the it has the same rate of fire and damage as the Grand, so there's nothing really there of any difference. Okay, he's down. And boom. There we go. I killed him. Uh, the only thing that is really bad about it is the recoil, but, you know, you know it's a semi-automatic semi rifle. It is to be... Ah. Hi. 
Let's see if I can kill him with that sticky. Yes. Alright. You too. Thank you. Uh, is that MG? You too. Thank you. Okay, so the Gebear 43. Uh, the only downside to it is the recoil, but that's to be expected. Um, everything else I feel is either the same as or better than the Grands. Even though the stats are the same, it just feels like a better rifle to me, so. There's that. Ah, uh, and there's a guy. And what's my ping up to? Uh, good. Nice and low. They're just the way I like it. I do join with the campaign map, but I don't pay attention to the pings because I've gone. Oh, uh, don't shoot me. Okay, he didn't see me, I think. Is the, a Panzer 1 up there. But I have gone used to the high pings because I play. Well, I am American and. Living in Colorado currently, so in the middle of the U.S. and uh, t most people in this game tend no, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Great, most people in this game tend to play in Europe, so there's that. But anyways, I quite enjoy the Gebe 43. The look of it is quite nice. And everything else is just wonderful about it. So, it's really an excellent weapon that should uh, hopefully take away everything that people have been complaining about with the uh, German weapons, such as, you know, the not getting a, a true choke force combat weapon until. Uh, and there's a Panzer 1 again. Until you either grind 98,000 credits or, uh, grind strange 6. Anyways. Does he have that MG? Yeah. I, yep, he does. Okay. Anyways, let's go. No, you don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. There we go. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the... Hmm... Let's do the Streamfield next. So, I haven't played all that much with the Streamfield. Uh, just because I, you know, I prefer to be up close. And that is not the role of the Streamfield. It seems almost like a perfect copy of the K, uh, Except for the sights. Uh, which I slightly enjoy better on the Streamfield, but not by all that much. It still obscures quite a bit as is the tradition with American weapons it seems but uh, do I die? No. Ah 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 okay. Now let's go ahead and spawn uh, back at the north forum. Yeah bazooka. Anyways with the screen field it feels like an exact copy of the 298k so there's not really all that much to talk about with it. Um the only thing that I enjoy better is the sound, and that's about it. So, well, difference, I mean. The only thing that's really different about them is the sound. So, what did he have? He had a Panzer Faust, and I don't look like he was empty. Let's see, where can I find the bazooka on this map? And I thought it was right over there. Right. And no. Hmm. Did they give her the bazooka right here? I don't know. There's a grand. And ah. They're starting to advance. Capturing North Bone. Okay. S uh the next major so that covers basically everything that I want to talk about with this green field because it's not oh get back into cover no 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 
don't want you on top of that rock wall. Because there's not really all that much to talk about with it. But let's go ahead and move on to the uh, assault teams. So the assault teams have drawn a major. No, you don't have to shoot me. Assault teams have drawn a major revamp in Uwin. Where now you actually have to pay uh, a new currency type for your assault teams in order to resupply them. Let me see if I can name them off the top of my head. You have your Droidsmen, those cost about 800 to fully repair with war funds or resupply, I guess. You have your infantry, which cost 1600 to fully resupply. Uh, motorized infantry, 4400. Recognized infantry, 8,604, I believe. That sounds right. And then your tanks. Light tanks cost, I believe, 21,000. Tank destroyers. Let's go ahead and kill him. Thank you. Thank you for dying. Tank destroyers are actually the cheapest in terms of. Um, what they actually cost uh, per unit, but I forget what exactly it is. I think it's like twelve thousand or something like that, and that despawns. And oh, I got him. Okay, good. You know what? I don't want to go. I don't want to be out here. Yeah, and that's why. Uh. And then your tanks cross about 58,000, and I don't know about the planes. Um, well, yeah, medium tanks, that is. So, you earn, in terms of earning, you earn 3,000 guaranteed. Although, that doesn't really seem all that much guaranteed, because, uh, there are oh, several bugs with it, so. Uh, and then, so 3,000 guaranteed for placing your ATs into battle as long as you don't withdraw them and then it's 3500 if you win the battle so up to 6500 credits or war funds is a new term for it uh, up to 6500 war funds and as I was buying out those numbers earlier you can tell how expensive things can get when they cost upwards of 58,000 and you can only get at most 65,000 so that's one of the reasons why most people didn't like it plus you know most people are using oh, got him ah um, man I'm dead most people are using uh, mechanized infantry and medium tanks those two are the most expensive to resupply uh, comparatively at least in terms of their respective branches so that's one of, one of the things that draw a bit huge amount of uh, backlash and many people threaten to leave the game because of it but let me give my opinion about it and that is I actually really do like them. Uh, at first, I was part of that crowd that said, uh, you know, it's just way too expensive to resupply everything. But then, as I've been thinking about it, you know, all you have to really do is get a whole bunch of infantry, and there you go. So. Gotcha. And it's also much better to steal half tracks like this because they cost so much. They cost something like 750 war funds per thing per half track. So it's useful to steal them. Unlike before when it was just a fun little thing to do. Now they actually have a use to steal them. So I try to enjoy that. As uh he got away. Okay, who's next?
How about you? Or you? No? And... No. Oh man. Give myself a headache. Um... Let's see, what was I talking about? I just got so carried away. Uh... War funds, yeah. So, most people do not like the war funds, but I quite enjoy them. Uh, because it adds that strategy piece to this game that was missing, uh, before. Ah, oh, man. It adds that strategy piece to the game that was missing before, and that's one of the things that I quite enjoy. Um, because my brain is... I usually tend to enjoy things that are more strategical, that make you actually think before actually doing it. And that's what war funds do. Um, and they finally add consequences to your actions of, um, you know, playing like paratroopers or, uh, medium tanks and just spamming them. It finally adds consequences to doing that. So that's one of the things that I quite enjoy about them. I think that the prices need to be lower for the higher tiers, which is as of right now, I just calculated it out. And if every piece was a loss, uh, you would have to have about 14 infantry just be... Uh, oh, thank you. Just to be uh, fueling one medium tank uh, company or battalion or whatever you want to call them. So, prices do need to be adjusted, but, you know, still, overall, um, I think it adds something that this game is missing, and I think that is needed. Of course, if you've <coughs> watched the forums over the last couple days, many do not agree with me, many are threatening to leave the game over it, uh, simply because they can't upkeep with it um but you know for that Rito has uh offered to I guess you could call it buy back all of your assault teams uh and then give you like a hundred percent of that value in gold or 125 percent or something like that so in the end it's not you know you get to try out the system, if you don't like it, you can always change. So it's not like... Ah! Oh, I didn't get him. I thought I did. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. Wonder what dropped me. So I think it adds a necessary element to the campaign view. So... Overall, I think it was needed. Some... As I said earlier, some people think that it wasn't in just a waste, but, um, yeah, so that's my thought about it. And, who's over here? No. Oh, something. Hey. Oh. I thought I was just taking shots from that teammate of mine. It was actually a tank. Hmm. That's not good. But anyways, yes, I, I do quite enjoy the war funds being in the game. Um, what I think should change, though, is not having a set price for every single assault team. Um, I think that they, they should be different between the assault teams. So, let's say guards earn what they're earning now. Infantry earn uh, the same only times two for the uh, extra infantry, and then oh. and I go no, I'm gonna die, uh, and I'm dying. I did. Um, what am I trying to say? I'm dead. There we go. Um, so I think they should be scaled according to how big or the importance of your assault team I guess 
because right now when a guards unit is winning the exact same amount as a paratrooper unit or a medium tank unit, that just doesn't make any sense. So, excuse me. There's that. And let's see. Oh, one other thing that came about in Ubin that I forgot about was the updated heads-up display. Um, as you can see in the right here where my mouse cursor is, instead of having a boat on, what is it, this side where the ammo now is, uh, instead of having that boat, and I need to get back behind this tree. Now you have something much more boom. Ah, oh, great. Well, most people don't seem to like it, and I am one of those. Because it just... just seems out of place. So, there's that as well. Uh, last thing was the update textures, and that was uh, some update uh, weapons textures, and that was something that I quite enjoy as well. Yeah, I guess I should just spawn in. Uh, let's see. No, we can't. Well, it's slightly different. The sticky is also slightly different. So, just another thing that I quite enjoy about Uwin. And I don't hold up. Nope. Um, and then let's see. Character screen. That was the last thing that I want to talk about, I believe. Um, where now you have a different character screen. I cannot give a screenshot right now. Uh, soon though, I'll do a little thing of how to play General Swift Ruin. And in that. Ah, oh, man. Uh, this is not a good game. We don't have any tanks, you know. Uh, anyways, the uh, updated character screen has added in the ability for you to have more than one primary weapon or extra weapon or close. Uh, what is it called? Melee? Is it melee or close quarters where it's a knife? I forget which. But anyways, I've added that in, that ability, so you can now have more than one. And, it definitely needs tweaking, because you can have both a bolt action rifle and a Panzerfaust or a bazooka. So that needs changing around, which is right now, you're just overpowered if you decide to go that route. But, I think it does, it does add in that customization that was missing earlier. And, uh, okay, how is he not dead? How did he not die? Hmm. Anyways, it does add in that customization that I was missing earlier because while you could customize your weapons, um, you can't really customize, you know, what your loadout was. So, that's nice. And the other thing is that it, uh, stamina is directly related to it. So that's one of the other things that I enjoy because it allows me to just have a simple Thompson and uh, Sticky to get all my needs done. And I have... There we go. Now you died. And, uh, you don't see me. Uh, maybe he does. Uh. Well, I got one of them. Okay. Um, anyways, it does add in that customization that I was missing. So, doesn't need tweaking, but, yeah. Oh, and as I was mentioning earlier, it allows me to have just a pistol and a sticky grenade 
um, for, um, excuse me, Thompson and a sticky grenade. To get all my things done, uh, of course, if I want to, I could add in a pistol and maybe even an M2A3, depending on how much I can put on. But, yeah. That's another thing for you. That's another thing that I enjoy about Uwin. So, overall, I think it is an excellent patch. Uh, it did not solve everything. Uh, not even close. But it did add in quite a bit to the game. And let me just remind everyone, oh, who does not like Uwin, that, you know, this is the first... What do they call it? Iteration or literation or uh, uh, yeah, whatever you call it, the first thing um, of a whole bunch of new systems. You have the new character screen. You have the uh, let's see. You have the or what do you call it? Um. can't think. Oh, get inside, get inside. Thought that much. Um, you have the character stream, you have the assault team uh, money, I guess you just say. So it's a first, first up for all of that, so um, things will change, you know, considering that it's only been an open beta for about a month, and this is the first for quite a bit of things. You know things are going to change so there's no need to complain about this game and leave it now uh, just because you do not like the first first thing of something <laughs> yes I know I'm being very specific now and is that smoke that I see yes it certainly is okay well time to lay down and okay good here I'm coming from over here. Yep, there he is. One of those problems with the people having sticky bombs is that instead of fearing tanks, now they just run towards them. Trying to kill them with a handheld anti tank device. Which is actually pretty humorous. Uh, I didn't kill him. Okay. Well, I do believe there's a game. Yes. This is also something else is different. Instead of giving you this little sign and then uh, just leaving you on that view of the boys at the bridge on this map, instead of doing that, now it shows up on this screen so you can just get out. So, anyways, thank you all for watching. Uh, Hopefully, next time I can get some gameplay in with the either of the two new weapons. But today I just wanted to talk about the Uwin patch. So, anyways, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye.